Narukame Ogosha, Plane of Euthymia, God of Thunder. She has lots of names, but the one we are most familiar with is Raiden Shogun. She is one of the most important characters in the game, so there is plenty of information about her. But at the same time, Hoyoverse did such a great job advertising her that almost every player knows everything. But I still managed to find 5 lesser known facts, so let me tell you about it. If you ever decide to take a trip to Dragon Spine, you can notice that your characters breathe out visible air when they start freezing. But that's not the case in Raiden Shogun. She doesn't breathe a single time no matter how long you wait. If you're wondering why, it's because Raiden Shogun that trails with us is actually a puppet and a vessel of a real one. So we are traveling with nothing but a doll that of course doesn't need to eat, drink or breathe while Raiden herself is chilling at home. You might know that Raiden likes to eat, especially desserts, but did you know that she cannot cook herself? And yes, she does share this problem with us in one of her voice lines, but I'm actually talking about in-game cooking mechanic. She is the only character that can't cook and therefore doesn't have a special dish. Whatever is the reason Raiden never learned how to cook, since she can't, she couldn't program it into her puppet either. In case you didn't know, Raiden Shogun is not actually her name. It's more of a title that previously her sister had and now technically belongs to her puppet. Her real name is A. And by that you can distinguish which one you are talking with, as well as by their voice. So, if you got Raiden and put her in your Serentia pod before completing her Arkham quest, you may notice that it's her puppet who stands there instead. But right after you complete the quest, A feels safe and close enough to visit your place herself. And you know, you should appreciate it, considering how hesitant she is about leaving Euthymia. Before going to the most interesting fact, let me once again tell you a bit about character's appearance. If you take a closer look at Raiden's hair when she ults, you can see that it glows. It's actually a trait shared by all Archons, although I'm not exactly sure what is the reason for such phenomenon. We know that every Archon in Genshin has Gnosis, a chess piece that represents their godly power. Wendy's one was taken through force by Signora, Jean Lee's was peacefully updated through contract. But what about Raiden's? It never appeared in games since Raiden slayed Signora right after her defeat in Duel with Traveler, so her Gnosis is safe. Or so we thought. Diving in Raiden's character stories, we can find that some time ago A decided that she doesn't really need her Gnosis and asked Yaya Miko to keep it for her. Yaya asked, aren't you afraid that I might just sell this off? To what A responded, you understand the value of Gnosis, even if you sold it, I trust that you would have exchanged it for something of equal value. And that is no easy price to pay. So Raiden's Gnosis is, or rather was in her possession, because Yai did end up selling it, and we even witnessed that. Can you remember? Game didn't actually tell us that, but give pretty clear hints. Hello, it's me, now from future editing this video. I actually realized that Game indeed told us that Yai handed Gnosis to Baladir, and I forgot about it. Oh well, it still is interesting but well known fact. Let's get back to the video. Remember our encounter with Skarmush? Yes, this one. Yai saved our life and claimed to use the secret art of begging for mercy, but of course that's not true. Since we are such a pain in the ass, Skaramush needed to be offered something of a more value to him than our life. And that's exactly Raiden's Gnosis. So now Fatui have three of them, and who knows what they are planning to do. That's it for Raiden A. As I already said, there is actually a ton of interesting information in A's story, but Gink clearly represents most of it to us. So unless you skipped all of it, you should be aware. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new today. And as always, see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.